Have you noticed more people around you gambling on their phones? Whenever they're watching sports, they have some money on the game, or they're always asking you if you want to go to the casino or if you've taken advantage of a specific offer. Well, that's what's happening in my life. We're seeing a lot more people nowadays gambling than ever before. And that's all stemming from in 2018 when New Jersey's Supreme Court said that they could have sports betting in the state. Since then, 38 states now have legalized sports gambling in America with only, fifth, with only 12 more to go. I think it's almost inevitable that eventually there's going to be legalized sports gambling everywhere in the country. And we're gonna be seeing a lot more people gambling than ever before. But why is this happening all of a sudden? Today, we're gonna to be talking about it. We're gonna be talking about how it just seems like everyone around you is now gambling. Welcome back to the One Day at a Time Gambling Addiction Podcast. My name's Rob, and I'm a recovering compulsive gambler. I made my last bet on November the 12th of 2022, and since then I've made it my personal mission to come online and share what's working for me in my recovery in hopes that it can help you to recover from a gambling addiction faster than I did. Today, again, we're gonna be diving into this topic of sports gambling because we're finally seeing a time where the majority of people are now gambling in some form. So what are the factors that are resulting in us seeing more people gambling than ever before? Let's dive into them today. The first thing that I'm seeing as to why people are gambling more often now are these irresistible offers that casinos and sports books are putting out. So if you've ever seen it online or maybe on TV commercial, you'll see that websites will offer you like a $500 free play or free bet or even a risk-free bet when you go and gamble on their site. Now what this actually is, is a certain amount of money that they're offering as a deposit match or deposit refund if you lose your bet so that you can gamble in site credit. Now this is very misleading and it's because when you go and you think that it's risk-free, it really isn't, it should be called a second chance bet because you at least have to roll it over once. You have to play through the amount once in order to cash it out off of the sports book. This results in a very dangerous situation where people are thinking that they're gonna be getting this free irresistible money, but in reality, they're, they're putting themselves at risk sometimes twice. And a lot of times with people who are gambling addicts or will become gambling addicts, we're not satisfied with that initial bet. And that is something that is very negative. And it's because you'll get this big win and you'll say, hey, that can happen again, let's get more. Or you'll lose the amount and you'll think, oh, I just have to put a little bit more to get what I had just lost back. And this results in a bad situation where you're constantly feeling like you have to chase a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, and it sends you back to the bet. Now this is customer acquisition by the casinos, and of course they're gonna to continue to do it. They want you to come in and try their sports book so that they can keep you there, because they know that if you keep coming back, they're eventually gonna make money off of you. These offers always seem too good to be true, and they always are. No matter if you win the first bet or not, you're eventually gonna give it back if you stick around. They know that and it's calculated behind the scenes, but of course it's not talked about because they want you to keep coming back. The second thing that I'm seeing that's sending people more to gambling than ever before, especially in sports gambling, is this constant bombardment that we're seeing on social media and on regular media of gambling content. ESPN specifically has been focused on putting out more sports gambling content because they know it's gonna get views. But what's happening is we're seeing where there's now three screens playing at once on ESPN. It's the initial show, which is often about sports betting. Then there's a sidebar talking about the different odds to win championships, the futures odds. And then there's the ticker that goes through the bottom that talks about the results of games and games that are coming up along with the lines for the games. So what we're seeing is just a constant reinforcement that gambling is normal, gambling is wanted, gambling makes sports fun. And that is very, very dangerous, especially because ESPN is a company that's owned by Disney. Disney's main target demographic is kids. So we're seeing a lot of kids that'll be watching ESPN, kids meaning anywhere from 12 to 25 years old. And the younger that you are, the more likely it is that you're going to get addicted to gambling if you try it. So with all these kids being shown that gambling is normal, gambling is what you eventually do when you come of age, they're getting this idea that it's something they need to be doing. And when that happens, of course, there's gonna be people who have fun, there's gonna be people who have a good time, but there's also the people who will get addicted to it. And what we're not seeing along with this huge rise in advertising for gambling is a rise in treatment options for people with a gambling addiction. It's still the same as it was before. And all of the treatment options lie on the individual to go out and find. The state has no incentive to help you. They're getting a ton of money off of the revenue from casinos. And of course, the casinos have no interest in helping you because you are their profit. There's a reason they're going to have you keep coming back, even when they know that you're a gambling addict. It's because 5% of casino players and sportsbook players make up between 60 and 80% of all of casinos gaming profit. That is a huge number. And that 5%, those are the problem gamblers. So this normalization in society of 
the TV programs, as well as the advertisements we'll see anywhere. You can't even drive down the road anymore without seeing a giant billboard telling you that the next one could be the big one. Next spin's the big winner. You're lucky this week. Something telling you to go and try. We're never seeing the other side, which is what I try to put out in the content that I create, in that if you keep gambling as a gambling addict, your life will get ruined. You'll lose all your money. You'll lose your family, your friends, your car, your house, your happiness, your ambition, your time. It all goes down the drain when you keep going and placing bets. Now, the third thing that we're seeing, and I think is one of the most dangerous things that are out there right now, is the celebrity endorsement of gambling. We've always seen the big celebrities like, you know, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, uh, Charles Barkley. They've always been gamblers. But now we're seeing celebrities that aren't necessarily gambling addicts, but they're out there showing everyone that gambling is fun. Gambling is the dream. We see this on TV with people like Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Hart, Vanessa Hudgens. We see them like Jamie Foxx. And then we see it online with streamers like Drake, XQC, Aiden Ross, um, AZ, like all these guys online that are streaming slots. And they're showing you that, hey, if you come and play on these casinos, you're going to have a great time. And th betting this big, betting hundreds of thousands of dollars, well, that's normal. So we're seeing a lot of manipulation in the market. And what the problem is, is that the main target demographic, again, is younger people. And the younger you are, the more likely it is you'll get addicted to gambling. So when a young person, maybe 18 years old, goes online and they see Drake spinning slots on stake, they're going to say, wow, Drake's spinning slots. Well, I should give it a try. Of course, I'm not going to bet hundreds of millions of dollars like Drake, but let's see what I can do with my savings real quick. See if we can double it because that's what Drake just did. And this produces a terrible situation where you think you're going to win big because everyone that you see gambling is winning. And if they're losing, it's hilarious. It's funny. And it's done to show you that, hey, eh, sometimes you might lose. But hey, man, look, it all happens. The next one's going to be the big one. So this idea that we're going to see continue to play out over the next five years is that if you keep gambling, you will win big. That is the dream that is being sold to you by casinos and sports books all around the world. Just three years ago, it would have been illegal for you to place a sports bet. You would have needed to go out and get a bookie, play on credit, and then kind of go under the scenes, behind the scenes in order to gamble. But now, every single person with a pulse can go out and gamble huge money. They can spend all their money and more betting on games. And now it's just being pushed as this huge normal thing in society. And it's just so strange that just within a five-year span, everything can completely flip. And the reason it's flipping is the money that the government's making from gambling. You need to be aware of what's going on. There's a reason why all these casinos are trying to get you to come in and play. And it's not because you're going to win big. These billion dollar industries didn't just come out of thin air. They came from people like you and I who took it too far and gave them too much of our time and money. I did it for six years. I gambled every single day for six years for between six and eight hours a day on average. It was a miserable way to live and it ruined my life for a very long time. Not anymore. There's no reason to keep going back to something that's bringing you pain. If you're one of the people who can't gamble normally, who doesn't stop, who borrows money to gamble, who pays off debts with gambling money, stop. It will get worse and it will eventually get to the point where you're not going to be living a happy life like you are right now, if you are still living a good life now. My hope is that creating content like I do here will help other people to see the need for it. We see people pushing for gambling, but never talking about what will happen if you let it go too far. So my hope is that by spreading awareness about this topic, other people will get help sooner than they may have without it. That's my goal here, and that's why I always ask that you please share this with anyone that you think might benefit from what we talked about here today. If you want to support this channel and you want to learn the truth about gambling, smash that subscribe button because everything I put out is honest, and I come out with a video every single day to tell you the truth about what's going on in the gambling world. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and drop them in the comments below, and let's keep getting better together one day at a time.